This is the heat exchanger of a Lars boiler. We're uh, dissecting this one. There's all the various parts. And these copper boilers have these thinned copper. And the way it was described to me is that the fins are actually cut into the copper. It's not fins that are pressed or pushed onto the copper tubes. They're actually cut right out of the same piece of copper. And so this is all solid piece of copper with these fins cut into it. Cut into it. I believe that's for better heat, heat transfer. Now the headers on each end are cast iron. And what they do is they through these openings, under these plugs, they will insert the copper and then a tool goes in this end and actually expands and rolls the copper and the seal is made simply by expanding that copper into the cast iron header. I don't believe there's any type of weld or soldering or anything that actually makes that connection. Here's the other end, and the same story, same sort of plugs on this end. So, on this boiler, the water goes in here, and this heat in this header is actually, there's actually a partition in the middle. So the water goes in here, down through the tubes on this half, down through the tubes on this half and then they turn around and come back this way and out the top. So that's the underside of it. The tubes are not nearly as bad as I was expecting. It needed to be cleaned. Had they kept this boiler in operation, it needed to be cleaned. But uh, I thought it'd be better to dissect it. <laughs> Most, <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't want to speak badly of copper boilers. They have their place, but um, yeah, if you have your choice, go cast iron. All right. Thank you very much. Bye.